I'll tell you a story that hit me and shaped me in a way that's hard to describe when I was a very young pastor. I would occasionally be a guest preacher for other churches um, that were really, really small and couldn't get anybody better than me back in my early 20s. And so I went to a really small church on the other side of town and I preached the first service. And there was this guy in the service that the only way I know to describe it is he, he had what I call a mad vein. After the first service, we went out to greet the people who were leaving and greet the people who were coming into the next service. And the receptionist came up all excited and said, oh my gosh, we have a guest coming. And I saw the guest drive up. She looked like life had been very, very hard to her. As she was walking up, God is my witness, Mad Van Guy, stepped in front of me and said to her, young lady, is that the best outfit you have? Because in our church, we wear our best for God. She looks so broken, so ashamed. She turned around faster. I couldn't catch her. She got in her car. She sped off. I could barely preach the next service. I drove all the way home in my little Red Geo prison, crying my eyes out. I made a promise. If I ever get to lead my own church, we will have a dress code. It will be simple. Please do put something on. Come to the house of God. It's righteous anger on behalf of God. This isn't right, not on my watch. When you look at some injustice, perhaps, to a group of people or a need in this world. Maybe it's those who are impoverished. I want my heart to be tender, to be broken by the things that break the heart of God. What do you do when you can't take it anymore? You sit down to cry. If it's big enough to cry about, it's big enough to pray about. I hope you'll understand that what you pray about really reflects what you believe about God. If our only prayers are bless this food and keep me safe and give me a good day, you really don't believe in a real powerful God. But when you ask God to stretch you, to use you, when you pray for the impossible, God, move, do miracles, bring healing, God, spark revival, use me, God, to meet someone's needs, you believe in the power and the glory of a good God. What do you do? What do you do? You sit down to cry. You kneel down to pray and you stand up to act.